We often get asked, how does Dundas BI support data modeling? And the answer might surprise you. So some of you might not be familiar with the term, and in that case, data modeling is kind of the process for processing your data into a formal structure to support a specific task, like BI. In Dundas BI, you don't always need to go through this process of creating a traditional data model before you start building data visualizations. Today, I'm going to show you what Dundas BI can do on the fly without ETL or building a data model. And I don't want to brag, but I've done some data modeling. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So just to be clear, Dundas BI 100% supports data modeling when needed. It's kind of a two-pronged system, sort of an 80-20 rule, if you will. The tools exist to do data modeling if you need it. But Dundas BI also has a patented system where we can do the data modeling for you behind the scenes automatically. Let's explore what can be done without any work using this unique patented process of automatic modeling. It's all done for you on the fly. Let's get right into it. So to show this, I have a simple table showing uncomplicated sales and revenue data. And since we're doing everything on the fly here, we also have a fly. Right away, you can see that Dundas BI does automatic detection and knows how to classify the data fields into either measures or hierarchies. The green icon signifies data that's a measure, and the orange represents a hierarchy. You can see that we can change the classification by right-clicking on the field and selecting Change Category. This is important because you might want to work with something as a number, but you also might want to treat that number as a category in some cases. You have control to use it as you will. We've also got support for date and time hierarchies on the fly. Notice that my date fields are automatically detected as dates, and I can expand them to get additional information. We can use these as raw dates coming from the database if we want, but we can also expand this information and see how the data is grouped. Also, now that we have the information grouped in our data set, you can see that we're able to do on-the-fly drill down without any data prep whatsoever. Dundas BI also provides for on-the-fly period-over-period comparison. And in this case, we can automatically do something like look at the same period a year ago. In most BI products, you're going to have to be writing code to do something like this. But here it's done on the fly. By the way, period over period is just one of the cool analytics features that can be done automatically. Check out this video that we did called Three Easy Analytic Capabilities Your Users Are Missing Out On if you're interested in checking out some others. And they can also be done on the fly. Resetting this chart, there's also the concept of grouping. So suppose we add continent to this data set. And in this case, we can see that we can choose to group various members right on the screen. No need to go back to the data set and create these in advance. This is one of those things that a lot of platforms are going to force you to do in your data modeling phase in advance to something like this. We can also replace existing fields in your data set with pre-built hierarchies. In the case of my data, you can see that we have continent, country, and city. So let's go over to our hierarchies folder, where I've already gone and created a hierarchy that groups the three of these together. By dragging this hierarchy onto the screen, you can see that we can, on the fly, replace that data and allow for different groupings and even support drill down. This is really powerful and, again, not automatic in most BI tools. One more. Did you know that Dundas BI supports on the fly joining between different data sources? We can automatically augment our data, bringing in additional information from maybe an Excel file and joining it to a database. In my case, I'm going to change the grouping here and show it by sales rep coming from a different table. You can see that Dundas BI automatically joins these data sources together, you guessed it, on the fly, and will take care of it all for me. I can also configure this join if I want to, but it is basically taken care of behind the scenes. Pretty cool, huh? Now just remember, my goal was to show you the types of activities that can be done without any data modeling. However, there are certain cases where you might still want to perform these activities yourself. And we do provide a ton of tools to help you with it. If you'd like to start digging into this a little bit more, I'd recommend taking a look at a video that I did 
called Three Data Storage Techniques in Dundas BI. It's a nice introduction to data warehousing and is often one of those things that's hand in hand with data modeling. Hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.